was creating the world, he sent his word. Mm -hmm. And his word created the world. Mm -hmm. When God was ready to save the world, he again sent his word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this time around, his word was not written in books. Mm -hmm. This time around, his word was embodied in a human being. Mm -hmm. And that human being is the person we call Jesus Christ. Yes. He is called the word of God, God. Mm -hmm. in human form. Mm -hmm. And that word is whom God has sent to us mm -hmm. as his gift to deliver us. Mm -hmm. Now, that is with what we are giving on to you mm -hmm. to snatch you out of hell. Mm -hmm. on your way to hell because we are supposed to act like God asked us to act mm -hmm. he's asked us to snatch you from hellfire mm -hmm. and when he snatches us he sends us his word sure. and the word he has sent to you today mm -hmm. is Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and he's asking that you accept him mm -hmm. as his gift to you mm -hmm. like a loving father would give something good to you mm -hmm. that is his gift to save you from hell the next point has to do with the power of hell. When the Bible talks about the power of hell, it talks about the power of hell, demons, okay. mm -hmm. the devil, and everything. Mm. It cannot prevail against the church of no, God. No, never, never. And this one is not just never. anybody saying it. It is Jesus mm -hmm. saying it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's another breaking news. Jesus talking about church. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jesus already knew that we were coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He already knew that somebody, else, some of us will be here. Yes. And he says, hell cannot prevail against yes, us. Yeah. He has given his word. Mm -hmm. I think I want to stop here because of time. All right. Because if we continue, we will not finish today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Reverend Louis, for that wonderful breaking news. The word. Hmm. John chapter 1, verse 1. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the, the word, word, and the word, word was with God, God, and the word was with God. Hmm. Amen. Amen. So that's where we take it up from and we queue it up and it all becomes something which is a reality for us to see to understand and to comprehend God has given us the word mm -hmm. the word let us listen to that word understand it and try to live by it, live by it. that's the word live by it we have five minutes to go and we want to wrap up. What we are going to use to wrap up today, brothers and sisters in Christ, their viewers out there, is a very interesting story which is captured in St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 16, verses 20 to 23. The story of Lazarus and the rich man. 19 following, if you like. And this story, it says, there was a rich man who was dis dressed in purple and linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried in hell where he was in torment. He looked up and saw Abraham. The story goes on and on and on. Mm -hmm. and on. We know it's a famous story. But I just want to talk about the responsibility of both parties. The rich man, he was rich. He was endowed. And then he was living in so much luxury. Every day, a beggar will be brought and placed at his gates to eat from the remnants of the mm. rich man's table. Mm. Can you imagine a buffet breakfast, a table as long as from here to over there with all kinds of varieties of things to eat. But then the rich man was enjoying and forget that there is a beggar at his gate. And the beggar will be there when there is leftovers they'll bring to him if he is lucky. Mm. And the dogs came he was so poor and wretched that he had sores all over his body mm. and the dogs were coming to lick his sores and this sort of thing and we are told that when the rich man died he went to hell when the poor man died the beggar he went to heaven mm -hmm. why good question 
because the rich man neglected his responsibility to humanity. Mm -hmm. Mm. He had it in abundance. Mm -hmm. To give to that beggar will not stop, will not reduce any a little quota, mm -hmm. little of iota mm -hmm. from his wealth. Mm -hmm. But he could not see that. He could not see that somebody was right there at his gate mm -hmm. begging for food, needed something to survive. He just looked at himself and what he could enjoy and what he could wear and what his, and this sort of thing. So God watched at that. And like you said, in the first, in the beginning, he said, when Jesus asked, and he said, what you do to the least of these, yes, my children, Lord, yes. that is what mm -hmm. I will do unto you. Mm -hmm. When I was lonely, mm -hmm. you did not come and see me. When I was naked, you did not clothe me. When I was hungry, you did not feed me. And so we were wondering, why should a rich man go to hell? And a beggar man go to heaven? Mm -hmm. These are the things. Our social responsibilities in this world that we live in today. If we have enough and to spare, let us help. Let us not be greedy. Let us do for one another. Mm -hmm. Let us be our brothers and sisters keeper. Mm -hmm. Let us love our neighbors mm -hmm. as ourselves. Mm -hmm. By doing that, brothers and sisters in Christ and their viewer, I'm not saying that you will make 100% heaven, but you will be very close <laughs> to entering <laughs> heaven. Because yes. I cannot judge. Yes. With that, we will come to a close for tonight. And we want to thank you for being there. We want to thank those who have called and contributed. We want to thank GRTS for this wonderful opportunity. And we want to thank also Reverend Junisa, Reverend Louis, for the resource passings that you have been, yes, last week and this week. And we pray and hope that our viewers out there have learned a lot from what we have been teaching last week and this week. Till we come your way again next week, stay blessed, good night, and have a wonderful evening. Mboki Gambia, Lidi Afri Chips, Chips Binga Hamne Moy Buri Chipsi, the Nekal Talay, Loi Tahnebe, Afri Chips in the Lenyari Flavor ES, Lady Sugar Flavor, a Cheese Flavor, Nehna, Amna Chafko, the Bahna Lol C and Halay, Lita Tahnebe, Afri Chips, Isi Len, Temeringan Mai, a Jurofuka, Pur Yen Halay, Lita Tahna, Bepa Packet Afri Chips Bingen Ubi, Di nga fafe ka ben ang ganymay, pur bega len yen yid di halay nda Afri chips halay la finekal. Kon halay daw len legi si bepa bitig wala bepa supermarket bulen jere te jena fal li di Afri chips flavor nda Afri chips halay nyo ko tahajo. Flavor drink, and orange lab, and strawberry lab, and mango lab, and pineapple coconut lab, and berry lab, and pineapple lab, the tier of flavor drink, mama sour lab. Tier of flavor drink, halay buga ninko, tay tamagi buga ninko, nyo pineapple, pineapple coconut, berries, strawberry, mango, akitam orange, nyilin ko andin, nyidiwa MFH group. Aqua King Food Banjo, Tiara Flavor Drink, Morphy Man.